Hey, what's up? It's me, Jessica Jane. I was just wondering if you've ever sat and thought to yourself, Oh, Jessica, how can I tell if I'm the fill-in guy? Well, if so, I'm glad you asked. Cause today, I'm going to go over four things that are dead giveaways that you're just the guy who's filling in until the other guy comes along. And to make sure you never miss out on another opportunity to find out these awful things about yourself or another one of my videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button with that notification bell. Okay, so the fill-in guy is not a good thing. It's not the guy who's filling in her puss until someone else comes along to do it. Really, you're just the ego boost until she finds someone better. Sorry. But the sooner you find out what these things are, the sooner you can get to finding out what you can actually do about it. And make sure you stay till the very end because the last one is sometimes a sign that guys think means that she's in love with them, but she's not. Okay, so the first sign that you're the fill-in guy is that she doesn't respond to all your texts. I'll tell you right now, when we women really like you, we can't help but hang on your every word. We sit there and we wait for you and every time we have a missed call or a missed text, we hope it's you. And even though we don't want to come off as too thirsty or too available, we will absolutely respond to every single one of your texts. Even if we try to like, you know, give it some space and make you think that we have other things on our mind when we don't. But for the fill-in guy, we just have no fucking problem not responding to you. Because we don't feel compelled. We don't feel that knee-jerk need to be there when you summon us. That's the stuff that's specifically reserved for the guys that we desperately want to have in our lives. So unless you get a woman so emotionally riled up and desperate for you, she is not going to be responding to all of your messages or all of your attempts to contact her. Which then brings me to the second sign, which is she doesn't respond right away or takes a long ass motherfucking time to respond. If a woman can go hours or days not responding to you, again, it's because she doesn't feel compelled to. She doesn't feel that need and that desperation to get back to you and be in your life on your radar. Really? If you're that fill-in guy, I'm going to open my text and be like, oh my god, who is it? Uh, Oh, it's him. <sighs> And maybe when I'm bored later and I don't have shit else to do and I've run out of lives on Candy Crush, maybe I'll respond to your texts. Or when I'm feeling particularly lonely and no one else I want to talk to is talking to me, then we will get back to you. So fine with the first one. Maybe you're like, but Jessica, she does respond to all my texts. But if she is not desperate to get back to you right away or within the hour, then we don't care to ever have you as ours. The third one is she rarely agrees to meet up, if at all ever. Fill-in guy is no more than a dopamine fix, a like on a post. That's it. You're just somebody to validate our existence for a hot second. And nobody cares to meet up with weirdos who like our posts. But we do still want you to like us and make us feel liked. So if you realize when you're like, hey girl, you know, we should get drinks sometime. And she disappears for like three fucking days. She's really hoping that you forgot that you even tried and are so embarrassed. And then when we talk to you without even responding to that, we'll hope you just get the hint. Because again, we don't actually want you in our lives. We don't actually want to lead you on and make you think you are anything more than an ego boost. You are the toaster and we don't ever want the toaster to think that the toaster is the microwave. Even the microwave can become a toaster sometimes. Either way, you are not a human being in her life, nor are you an option for the puss. So why would she meet up with you? Now the fourth one, like I said, this is the one that guys are like, oh, she must really like me. Which I apologize for because I've said that this is actually a sign she might like you. <laughs> now this is she ignores or turns down your advances even though she's still talking to you. Okay so when I say that we women do this when we really like you we won't put out when we really like you because we want to trap you. I think Ali Wong said she did put out with her husband for like the first three months and my girlfriend who was here the other day said the same thing when she found her now husband she didn't hook up with him for the first three four months but she was like you bet your ass I sucked his dick he's got to know that I got it but if she is straight up knocking down on your advances, shaming you for them, or full out ignoring them, that means you're the fill-in guy who's just there for like compliments and such until the real guy she wants filling inside her comes along and comes on her face. Now the overarching theme about all this is unless you get a woman so completely compelled to forget that she's in the middle of something or desperate to have you, unless you are overriding her rational thought and brain, yeah, we will keep you on the back burner. Cause why the fuck not? For 
the ones getting older and losing eggs every day. Sure, we need some dudes on the back burner that we could go back to when all the guys we really want are just no longer there or showing up. That's what that fill-in guy is. You're that guy sitting on the shelf while we get railed by everybody else, hoping that our ideal man will settle down with us. And God forbid he doesn't. Thank God we have you. So if you're sick of being the fill-in guy and you're ready to fill in some puss and pound town, make sure you check out this video that my former assistant Clayton made in regards to getting a woman so emotionally hooked on you in a way that she can't think of anything else. She can't think of anybody else. There's no way she's waiting to do anything with you. She's the one who needs to trap you now. Because I'm telling you it's possible. Clayton will tell you exactly how he did it with my help back in the day and how other guys are using his advice to do the exact same thing. To no longer be filling, guys. So if you know that these four things are very much present in your relationships with women right now, please check out this link on the end screen. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.